the workshop on teaching methods in organic agriculture is an initiative of the of ENOAT, uh, which stands for the European Network of Organic Agriculture University Teachers, and this network has been cooperating since uh, the late 90s uh, in in Europe. And um, they have been focusing on, on various aspects of, of uh, teaching in organic agriculture. But uh, also the, the focus in, in recent years has, has become on, on teaching methods in, in particular. And this, um, this network has found a way of integrating these workshops into their annual meetings. So once a year when, when they meet, they usually also uh, organize a, a, a workshop to discuss um, teaching methods that would be suitable for, for, for this area. And the important thing to, to mention is that the support for these, these meetings has been financed from the partners' projects uh, as well as from the Erasmus Teaching Mobility Grants. So that's how it all got started and supported. So the key success to this initiative, as many partners have mentioned, or the authors of, of this example, was the really open-minded um, atmosphere that is usually present at, the, at these workshops and, and in, in teaching methods. So they were saying that it's really this collaborative feeling and, and this inspirational atmosphere that enables um, the, the partners, the, the partners of the network, to really discuss the successes but also the failures of, of the teaching methods and teaching approaches. And this helps everyone in, in the, present in the workshop to really f bring about new ideas about how to change their teaching practices. So this has been really, really useful. And also, uh, actually, a lot of the, the partners, the members from the Eastern European countries, former Eastern European countries, the Eastern Bloc, bloc were saying that it was really important for them to get into the network, to, to really get the knowledge transfer between the Western countries and in the, the Eastern countries and this, this has been also really important for their professional as well as career development, so many of them mentioned that. I think it can be really helpful to realise that this initiative actually is, um, is not a standalone professional development initiative. It's been, it's been initiated by the members who got interested in teaching methods in organic agriculture and how to improve the teaching methods and they have found a way of integrating it into their, um, their annual project meetings or the meetings of, of the networks as such. So I think it's really nice to, to realize that even though it's a bottom-up initiative, it has been really successful in reaching many of, of the teachers in this network and helping them to think about their teaching approaches and about professional development in this area.